Ali. It is another helping of everybody's favourite field comic book reboot. The New 52. And this is Animals Man number one. I think of all the new 52 books, this one is one of the ones that is remembered more warmly. I can so far to say it might be the best one, but I can't remember most of them. What this one does and what makes it good is there is very little new 52 in it. There's just one reference where they say our animals man, he hadn't ever been a member of the Justice League in a new 52. But other than that, you can kind of just read it as a new Animals Man comic without all the new 52 baggage. We start off with a fake newspaper article that has got an interview with Animals Man. And just like the Van Morrison run, we have got a heavy focus on his family and his home life. Uh, Animals Man in his civilian identity as Rob Schneider. Him and the family, they were such an integral part of the previous runs that carrying that theme out to the new 52. Again, it helps this feel less like a revamp and more like, as I said, just, just a continuation. And one of the most surprising things is they even kept the son's awful mullet. So Rob Schneider, he is at home and there is an hostage situation on the news. So Animals Man gans off to stop it. I'm not a big fan of this design for Animals Man. It is loosely based on a design from the end of the Van Morrison run. Uh, issue 21, I think. But for me, I just prefer the orange and blue and the goggles. He needs the goggles. Uh, at least, at least put a jacket out of your costume. This looks, this kind of looks generic. Uh, this is really well written too, by the way. Uh, Animals Man, he gans to the hospital because that is where the hostage situation is. And a distraught father, he has lost his daughter and has taken the children's ward hostage. And Animals Man, he tries to talk him down. But it doesn't work and he gets shot with bullets from a gun. And then we have got this very artistic splash page showing Animals Man using his powers. And we see like images of a bunch of animals whose powers he could copy. Then using the powers of a rhino, he quickly knocks this guy out. But then we find out that Animals Man... His eyes are on their period. Better get out the tampons. This all links Animals Man in with Man Thing a little bit. And look down here. There is that New 52 Ways Wally character. Uh, if you are worried about Animals Man, didn't worry his eyeballs. They only get like that once a month. We have got some nice bits with Animals Man worrying about his family and sympathising with a guy that he just stopped because he doesn't know what he would do if his kids died. Then we have got a fucking metaphorical dream. I will cut this some slack because this maybe isn't entirely a dream or a nightmare. There is some magic nonsense involved in this world and maybe it is a vision. Uh, there is his son with the awful hair, with his guts hanging out. But I think this is all mainly an excuse to let the artist go a bit mental and do some trippy shite. Uh, there's all sorts of loaded imagery and the blood. The blood is like the only colour in the dream, just like the jacket in Schindler's Lifts. And look, Animals Man, he's just a bunch of blood too. And then, look, it's some scary beasties. Then he wakes up and our twist ending is that his precocious daughter, she has developed powers related to animals too. She's just hanging out in the garden with some carcasses of dead animals. To be continued. If you are already a fan of Animals Man, if you like the Van Morrison run or whatever... I think this makes every effort to try and appeal to you. 
I am not crazy about some of the new concepts they introduce, but I think this is a valiant attempt to do an Animals Man comic without a complete overhaul. I rate this 7 thumbs up.